six uh, traffic heavy one mile south of the airport, 1,700 inbound kill. These are fire ants. They originated in the jungles of Brazil and arrived in North America on cargo vessels. They now infest many airports, homes and public buildings across the southern states of America. Despite their tiny size, they have the power to close down airports, traffic control systems and server networks. Their destructive influence continues to grow. Computers are especially vulnerable. Remarkably, it's the electricity that they like. Their antennae are electrosensitive, and the ants react to electrical charges by attacking them with their jaws. The soldier ants also like the sweet taste of the terminals, and they can't resist having a nibble. All this activity creates problems and leads to dangerous short circuits as their jaws and legs touch exposed circuitry. They are now creating havoc over vast areas of the southern states of America. Having come from the rainforest, the ants are used to this kind of weather. But unknowingly, the ants have built their nest in a drainage ditch. Flooding is a challenge for even the most intelligent swarm. The ants start an evacuation, moving the nest to higher ground. It's women and children first, as the ants carry the queen and her pupae to safety. But still, the water rises. The ants react by linking arms together, forming a mesh of interconnected bodies. Between them, they're making a life raft. The ants' most precious cargo, the eggs and remaining pupae, are safely stored on top. Flying ants also board, like helicopters on an aircraft carrier, ready to lift off to start a new colony if the raft gets into trouble. Remarkably, some of the pupae are set aside to act as flotation devices to help keep the raft afloat. The ants that make up the submerged part of the raft have their own emergency air supply from the air trapped on their bodies. As the water level rises further, the raft detaches from its moorings. It is now at the mercy of the wind and water. Some of the workers paddle with their front legs, giving the elements a helping hand. On the top deck, the workers tend the pupae and larvae. Below deck, workers clean and maintain the underside of the raft. As the raft approaches land, it begins to change shape. The ants start building a pontoon from the raft that reaches towards the bank. The individuals are working as a unified team for the benefit of the whole colony. As fingers of ants reach out, they show swarm intelligence working to perfection. As more ants add to the pontoon's length, it becomes a bridge to the land.
once contact is made, the most precious cargo is unloaded first. Like a team of porters, they ferry the pupae to the shore. The next generation is safe. The queen is next to disembark. The colony's future is assured. Using their incredible swarm intelligence, fire ants are taking on the world. As well as invading America, they have started to colonize Australia. With global warming, they are likely to invade Europe as far north as southern England. They are the swarm of the future.